What's up everyone? My name is Platinum Howler, coach of your Delta Gligers. Today I'm bringing you my week 8 team builder of the APA Academy versus Shogaholic and his New York Yampers. You can see his team over on the right side of the screen. Shogaholic is 2-5 and five, but still very much in the running for playoffs because of just the way the standings have uh, shook out. Uh, he would probably need to win out the last three matches to uh, have a realistic chance of getting in, but uh, it's still very possible. So expect him to bring his A game and we're going to have to be on our A game as well. So first order of business for this team is how do we beat Dragovich? Dragovich is kind of a threat if you don't prep for it. So uh, we definitely are going to have to make sure we have some things for it and our normal type core is going to be able to take on Dracovic, starting with Dubwool, making its debut this week. Uh, so happy to finally see some use out of this slot. Um, of course, Dubwool replacing Togetic uh, at the transaction deadline at the end of week six. We never brought Togetic, but we are bringing Dubwool now, so we finally get some usefulness out of this slot. This is basically just here to be the initial switch into Dracovish, so we can uh, scout out what kind of set it is. If it's Banded, and if it Banded Ficious Rend will 2 hit KOS, but uh, if it's doing that much damage, then we know that he's locked into it, and we have a switch into it from there. Um, otherwise, we can Thunderwave things, slow, uh, slow stuff on his team down. Um, like Gardevoir would be a very nice thing to get to Thunder Wave, uh, Gengar possibly as well. Uh, Corviknight I would also accept a uh, Paralysis on. And then we have Substitute and Baton Pass. They're really, Double's move pool is not really that great, so there aren't too many options that you have to run on this. Um, but Sub Baton Pass is basically here um, to deal with Mudsdale. I feel like if Mudsdale comes in on the dub wool, he will want to toxic me before anything else, or just potentially set his rocks. So if I can get a substitute up um, before he gets the chance to toxic me, then I can baton pass a substitute into Air Balloon Heliolisk and start doing a, a lot of damage to his team because Heliolisk speed tier wise matches up super well super well in this uh, in this matchup. Uh, I can run Modest and still have a good amount of bulk and outspeed everything on his team except for Gengar and Bolton. So we have Air Balloon. If we Baton Pass a substitute from Double into an Air Balloon Heliolisk, then he can't really do anything to us unless he has Body Press. And um, as you are well aware from my team, does not have a Ground Resist, so... I don't know how likely it is that he would run Body Press on Mudsdale when all he really needs is Earthquake to hit my team. And I mentioned the switch in that we have uh, to a banded Ficious Rend. Well, that's Dry Skin Heliolisk. Uh, we are immune to Ficious Rend. So as long as we bring in Double first to scout out what move he's going for, scout out what kind of set he is, see if he is choiced in any way, um, then we can. Uh, potentially get the initiative on him as well we can baton pass out um, so also if this thing is locked into outrage then uh, we have an answer for that as well um, because um, honestly double isn't really doing the most damage to uh, to Dracovish body presses is only attacking move um, so it can hit Incineroar Incineroar um, of course, Fluffy, the side effect of it is we are weak to fire type moves, so we want to be able to deal uh, decent damage to Incineroar. Um, so Hyper Voice doing a lot of damage to his team. We have Volt Switch and Thunderbolt. I had to have Thunderbolt. Uh, I was originally going to go with... Um, I was originally going to go with... What's the move called? Focus Blast uh, to see if we could catch his uh, Incineroar coming in. Uh, potentially, and uh, if we have a substance, if we're behind a substitute, then we have a free chance to fire off damage with uh, Focus Blast, right? But I'm not bringing as much to deal with Corviknight this week as I have in past weeks when I've played Corviknight, so I felt like having Thunderbolt on Heliolisk was necessary. I don't want my only 
I, I didn't want my only uh, way to hit the Corviknight to be Volt Switch, and then I have to switch out into something else on my team that may not be well equipped to deal with the Corviknight. So in the end, I went Volt Switch and Thunderbolt. And then, of course, Grass Knot is for uh, Mudsdale. We don't have Surf, which could have hit Mudsdale and Incineroar, and the reason for that is because Gardevoir could come in, trace our dry skin, and then it would recover HP uh, from us clicking Surf, and uh, I don't want that to happen. So, yeah, that's why. Oh, and plus Grass Knot is just more powerful overall against the Mudsdale, so. Yep, that's going to be our Heliolisk. Next up, we have Torkoal. Um, Torkoal just being able to set Sun and uh, uh, nerf the... Uh, Ficious Ren from from the uh, Dracovish is really nice. Originally, I had uh, Assault Vest on this, um, but like so I could take a hit from Gardevoir and then just Gyro Ball it. But I'm actually going to try to deal with that in uh, uh, some other fashion. So we have actually have Heavy Duty Boots instead because Mudsdale, if it sets rocks, I don't want Torkoal to be whittled down by rocks. Um, Anything else on my team, I don't really care all that much if it comes in on rocks, but Torkoal I definitely don't want taking rocks chip uh, if I can avoid it. So, uh, Lava Plume, Gyro Ball, we ran this against Gardevoir before. Um, we're gonna, but I was running max specialty defensive that week, so hopefully if I'm clicking Gyro Ball, it's because I'm catching Gardevoir on a switch instead of just staying in and eating a psychic. Uh, yeah, that's kind of the plan there. Uh, Lava Plume is really good. He does not have good switch-ins to Lava Plume at all because his uh, main... Like, his best slip in switch into Lava, Lava Plume would be Incineroar, but then I can just body press that. And I don't have Rapid Spin. Um, I don't really feel too pressured to uh, spin rocks away in this game, so I just put Earthquake on here instead because uh, I can hit the uh, Gengar harder. I can hit his Boltun harder. So, uh, yeah, we have that. That's the Torkoal moveset. Uh, Weavile, Choice Band, and Weavile, this thing, as it, every time it comes in on Gengar, it's going to click knockoff, and it's going to destroy it, even if it's G-maxed up. Choice Band and knockoff is going to destroy Gengar. Um, Icicle Crash, Ice Shard, of course. Why wouldn't you run those moves on a Choice Band and Weavile? And then Brick Break. Um, so we have fighting a Fighting-type move that can hit Incineroar, and it can also destroy Aurora Veil, if he brings Vanillax and tries to set uh, Aurora Veil against us. I really don't think Vanillax comes uh, against a Sun team because like Torkoal can just come in on it every time and uh, get rid of its weather, uh, resist all of its, uh, resist literally any hit that it wants to go for and prevent it from using Aurora Veil. So I don't think that really comes, but uh, we may as well run Brick Break just in case. I actually had to fix a mistake on my part. Originally, I totally blanked on speed creeping his bolt end. So I got, luckily I was able to get this fixed really quick and put the extra speed EVs into uh, Weavile so that I could outspeed bolt end. And any hit that I go for against bolt end, it's going down. Necrozma, this might be the week that Necrozma actually faints. Uh, <laughs> Necrozma so far has come to every single game and has not fainted once. It is. I believe it is uh, eight no, eight kills, no deaths. Uh, but we're bringing it this time as a Stealth Rocks lead. I don't really know how I feel. I, I I don't. I'm not sure if this is the best way to go. But we're gonna lead. We're gonna lead with Incineroar. Set up our. our excuse me. We're gonna lead with Necrozma. Set up our Stealth Rocks, and then just kind of try to do damage to whatever he brings in against us. Uh, unless it's Corviknight, then we're probably switching out against Corviknight because we did not bring anything to hit Corviknight with on this set. But we have Photon Geyser to hopefully 2 hit KO Mudsdale. Um, I want to... It's really... It's going to be really big if we can get a 2 hit KO on the Mudsdale because then um, we can, like... He won't be able to, like, both set up rocks and Toxic my Necrozma or both set up rocks and Earthquake me, for example. Uh, like, if I can get a 2 hit KO on that thing, it's going to be really nice. Um, Morning Sun Recovery. So, if we have Sun up... It, so, if, if we don't catch Gardevoir on a switch in with uh, Torkoal, then, assuming it's going for a Psychic, we'll resist the Psychic with Necrozma, and we can Morning Sun up 
Um, with the sun up, we're going to be recovering a ton of HP. Knockoff is really the only thing that we can do against that, but we'll get rid of its item. Um, getting rid of items in general is just really nice. Like getting rid of Necra of Incineroar's item is going to be is going to be huge. Like if it's running boots or assault vest, that's just going to add up to it taking more damage from the rest of my team over time. So, yeah, that's just what I do against Incineroar. Um, if well, he wants to spam knockoff, then I guess nothing can. I can't really do anything to stop that. Eventually, I'm going to have to switch in my. Uh, like either my dub wool or my uh, Torkoal against Incineroar, but if it's spamming Flare Blitz, then it's weakening itself to recoil, and I'll sit in here and click Morning Sun against it, I guess. Um, yep, so... Oh, and we're Cassie Berry! Okay, so if Incineroar is the lead, and it U-turns out against me, and goes into the G-Max Gengar right away, then we can uh, survive a G-Max Terror, and Photon Geyser after it comes in on rocks, uh, Photon Geyser has a very high chance to kill uh, Gengar even while G-maxed. So, yeah, that's the reason why we have Cassie Berry. Last is the Copperaja. So, I mentioned we have a way to deal with the Dragovish if it locks itself into Outrage. So, um, instead of bringing Mimikyu, which I feel just does not match up good enough against the uh, Corviknight, um, I mean, this thing doesn't really do much to Corviknight either, but at least we can whirlwind out. Uh, we can phase things out to take uh, Rock's Chip, that, uh, that Necrozma sets early game. Um, so, this thing can not be 2-hit KO'd by Choice Banded Outrage, and if he's still locked into it, then we can click Play Rough, and uh, Sheer Force Life Orb Boosted should be able to knock out Dracovish. Um, and then Zen Headbutt we have for the Gengar, Power Whip we have for the Mudsdale, because I want to be able to hit Mudsdale. If he switches that thing in on me, I put Speed Creep to outspeed non-invested Mudsdale, so hopefully he doesn't put like 4 or 12 EVs in speed to uh, outspeed me there. But uh, if I'm at full HP, then uh, Earthquake should not kill me unless he has uh, quite a bit of attack investment. Whirlwind is the last move because I would think Incineroar comes in against Copperaja, like Incineroar can take a steel type move very easily. Um, so if I'm predicting a switch of any sort on his uh, by him, then I can just click Whirlwind and uh, just get Rock's Chip on anything, on, on everything that he might want to do. So yeah, we don't have steel type stab because this can deal, this can switch into Gardevoir as well. Like this can switch into a Moonblast from Gardevoir if I think that's what it's going for. Otherwise, I'm probably going to want to switch in the Krozma first to uh, be, like take a resistant Psychic and then be able to knock it off and recover HP with Morning Sun or whatnot. But we also have this to potentially switch in on Gardevoir. And it's just so frail on the physically defensive side that uh, Play Rough is more than likely going to be enough to uh, KO it. We don't really even need Steel Stab to KO it. Um, yeah, so that's going to be the team. and. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow with the battle. If you enjoyed this team builder, please leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel to keep up with all of our draft league content. We'll see you tomorrow for the battle.